Um, let's be a smartass. What are you gonna do? Self-destruct? <laughs> Look at her eyes. <laughs> you do realize we're on the ground, right? Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Yeah, you look a little disappointed. Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, and we're continuing to work our way uh, down from uh, the crash site. We just went through kind of like the at least the first part of the tutorial mission. We picked up a few supplies here. And now we're just going to pick up right where we left off. We killed a couple of Marauders, and so let's do this. Uh, I am playing this game on Supernova, which is the hardest setting. Um, it adds uh, survival elements, so we got to eat, drink, sleep, as well as, you know, making the enemies the har harder and that sort of thing. So, so far, so good. I mean, we've only killed two Marauders so far, but uh, we're going to do this. Um, my character is... I'm kind of tentatively planning on my character to be kind of a... Um, Kind of a jerk. He's gonna. He's not necessarily gonna be like wholeheartedly evil, but you know, he's gonna be. He's not gonna be real friendly to other people. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing that is just because I usually when I play these kinds of games, I am a good guy, and I just want to you know try something a little bit different. Uh, also, we have spec into persuasion and intimidation, and commu you know those types of skills, and not so much melee and guns, which is also a little bit different uh, than what I would normally do. Okay, so we've got a, a dude up here. Uh, is there any way I could pull him without alerting the other guys? Not really sure. He's a Marauder Vandal. Um, well, let's see. Break you. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's um, let's find some cover. I have a feeling like if we try and take those guys head on, it's not going to go well for us. Is he like giving up? What the hell is he doing? That was weird. It's almost like he he was surrendering or something, but then he ran off. Huh. Alright, let's uh let's try this again. I hope his health doesn't come back. Okay, let's try this. Man, these guys do not uh, go down easy on these hard settings, do they? Run, run, run! Okay, two of them are coming this way. Oh, they don't, they don't come any further than that point. Oh, wow, okay. I didn't realize that. I guess we can use that to our advantage if, if we need to. We're probably going to spec into long guns and be kind of like a sniper type of guy too. Okay, let's go up this way. There should be two of them left. I kind of, okay, there's one right there. I think part of the issue too is that we're a little bit far away for handguns. Okay, we got him. Okay, we'll try a little bit of melee there too. Oops, nope, wrong button. We gotta hit F for heal. Okay. All right, yep, these guys are uh, a thug kit. These guys are not easy to kill. Two more Adrenos, that's good. Adrenos, I gotta call those Adrenos, I think that's what they're called. We got some decent XP out of that though. A bit cartridge, light ammo, and a sentry saber. Here, I gotta remember to hold E down to loot all that stuff. Interesting. Is that it, just those three? I think so. All right, let's take a look at this saber here. 
Is there like a compare option? Uh, okay, so this does 54 DPS. That does, oh my goodness, that does 73 DPS. And it's a one-handed weapon too. That's way better than this damn staff. Uh, the staff does have a knockdown special effect. This has a bleed special effect. Why does that have a gear next to it? That probably means that it needs to be repaired. Uh, how do I know how... Oh, I see. The condition. Okay, condition in the lower right-hand corner. So that's at 84% and that's at 97. This is probably... Yeah, this is 100%. Oh, this is much better. It does more damage than the two-handed staff and it's a lot faster too. Okay, so this is... We're going to be using this for melee for now. And we can still block with it too. Good. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Looks like that's our ship there. I wonder if this game is, um, like, open world or if it's, like, pathed. Like, you have to go, you know, through certain paths. I don't hey, know. I guess we'll find get out. Over here before you get yourself killed. Hey, who are you talking to, lady? It's rude. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Go Those are on worse? Wrong leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. What the hell's a rung leech? <laughs> she said rung leech. Uh, it's just a landing violation. Let it go. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders and I'm not impressed. Well, that's not necessarily true. I mean, they're actually kind of tough. <laughs> um, she's definitely overreacting about the landing violation. So that's, we're going to go with number one. Uh, it's just a landing violation. Chill out, lady. You out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. Sick freak? It's, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, do Spacer's choi Choice Guards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Intimidate. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Don't worry, you sit tight. Coward, I'll do it myself. Okay, so, um, because my character's kind of a jerk... I'm thinking either five, three or five. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's go with three. Um, you get you get a zero on your customer satisfaction for being a bitch. Seriously, but those marauders will. Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off. Find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. All right. Well, maybe maybe we'll, we'll just kind of hang back here and see if they get killed. And then we can loot them and get their get their stuff. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm being an asshole, aren't I? Okay. I don't know. Maybe they can't die, though. Oh, yeah. They, they took them dudes out, didn't they? I, I bet you they can't be killed. Okay. Well, we still can loot the guys they killed, I think. Uh, yeah. That was funny, though. Another light pistol. All right, what, what's this? Canid skull fin. The bone protrusion from the top of a canid's skull. Due to its unusual shape and colorfulness, this bony skull piece is used as, as adornments on bookshelves and mantles and makes for rather decorative bookends. Oh, yeah, okay, those are those things we saw earlier. Okay, I guess we'll take one of those. All right, there's another guy, yep. Bit cartridge and light ammo. Okay, is that it? No, no, there's a guy here. Another sentry saber. What the hell's making that noise? That's an interesting structure. We kind of we came down from that way. Huh. All right, let's go talk to these morons over here. That was funny. <laughs> it's too bad they didn't get killed and we could have looted them. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. All right, you're still going to get bad marks in your review for being a bitch. Uh, rebuilt mining gear. What's that? Oh, that's just a hand. Oh, man, there's a lot of dismemberment in this game, isn't there? All right, let's... um. So this is the same that we already have. Okay. <clears throat> so what's this do? 
This is um, four armor, and that's three armor. So this is actually a little bit better armor than what we have now. So let's switch. Doesn't look as cool, but that gives us tech skills. This gives us, gives us stealth skills, which actually I kind of like that idea. All right, let's go check this out. Open up. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. No valuable plunder. Okay, so what's this say? Welcome aboard Apex Transport. The reliable. Oh, the unreliable. <laughs> Triangulum Colony, 2325. Interesting. That's kind of cool looking. All right, so um, let's just look around. What do we got here? Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. So what if I take it anyway? Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. All right, you know what? Let's, um, let's assume, whoa, you're thirsty and you need a drink. In supernova difficulty, you must drink every few hours to prevent dehydration. Consuming a non-alcoholic drink will clear non-alcoholic drink will clear your thirst and prevent di dehydration for a few hours. Without drinking, your dehydration will get worse over time in four stages, reducing your dexterity, then your perception, then your intelligence, and each stage before at each stage before eventually death. Plain and pure water has the fluids you need for smooth skin and anti-desiccation. Yeah, anti-desiccation. That's probably a good thing. All right, do we got something to drink? Oh, uh, item repair. Keep your company gear in tip-top shape as expected as something you're carrying needs repair. You can't repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon... You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench. I'm trying to read too fast. I need to slow down. Using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without the need of a workbench. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness. Ready to cause or prevent maximum damage. Keep your office equipment in tip-top shape for superior company efficiency. All right. So, um, we need to drink something. Zero G Brew Spacer's Choice. This is alcohol. Whoop. That's not what I wanted to do. Do we have just, like, normal water somewhere? Um... Tarmac and cheese. Tarmac and cheese. Yeah, I don't we don't really have anything to drink. Okay, we picked this up. What is this? This is an armor mod. Increases your melee and defense skills. How do we use that? Do we have to do it at the workbench? I'll bet you we do. That's actually pretty good. Uh, melee weapon skill plus five and defense skill plus ten. Inspect. That's kind of cool. All right, um, I think we'll probably have to do that at the workbench. There's our lock picks. We don't have anything in those two. And that's just junk. All right, so is, is this the workbench? Yeah. Welcome to the Crux 2000 workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping your combat ready and in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on, and then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it. Yeah, okay. All right, so... Um, let's go repair. Sawed off shotgun. Ooh, that's only in 15% condition. What do we need to repair it with, though? Uh, hmm. Um, oh, E, repair. Okay. Doesn't do anything. It's probably because we're missing... Oh, we need weapon parts. Uh, there's, these are weapon parts here. Okay, we'll figure this out. All right, let's try this again. Um, tinker, repair. Okay. And then if we hit this, we do E. Wait a minute. It's still not uh, repairing. Didn't we just pick up some weapon parts? I guess I'm a little confused. <clears throat> e repair. Oh, we need 18 weapon parts to repair it. I got gotcha. you. Okay, I got gotcha. you. You know what? I don't like this melee thing, so let's break that down. Wait. We can't break it. Wait, we can't break it down? Is it because we're not 
because we have it equipped. I bet you that's what it is. Okay, here. So let's unequip it. Let's put the shoddy up there too, by the way. Actually, here, we'll put the shotgun. We'll put the melee in the first slot, the pistol in the third, and the shotgun in the fourth. Okay. Now, can we break this down now? Yes, we can. Okay, so you can't have it equipped if you're going to break it down, which makes sense. Okay, what did that give us? That gave us three weapon parts. Okay, so that means now we should be able to repair this, right? Yep, look at that. Repair. Bingo. Nice. All right, so does that put us back at uh, 100%? Yes, it does. Cool. Okay, that's going to come in handy. Does this use heavy or light armor? Does it tell us? Um, if you thought Hammersmith's tactical shotgun was hard to aim, you wait until you try this gun. However, when you hit something, they'll feel it. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, it does. It does take light armor. Okay, it says that uh, on the right hand side there. Uh, do we need two sabers? They're both in 100% condition. I don't know how quickly they're going to wear down. So I think I'm going to hang on to those extra weapons for the time being. What's this? Pick up toss ball stick. Is that a weapon? Yeah. It has a stagger effect. Okay, we're probably going to break that down too. This is kind of neat in here. Can we go up this ladder? What's this do? Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. <laughs> Vocational competence respecification machine. So this allows us to respec. Character respecification. Choosing to respec refunds all of your spent skill perk. Oh, okay, that's good. Because if we, you know, if it turns out that this is just too hard for us because of the, you know, this, the skills we took, uh, we can always come over here and redo it. So that's good to know. It costs 500 bank to do that for the first time, and it gets more expensive each time. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Requires power regulator. Okay, I think that's something we're going to have to get for a quest later on. All right, cool. I'm liking this. <clears throat> All right, climb down. She still thinks we're a marauder. <clears throat> Let's go back here for a minute. Um, I want to go to armor. And I want to install that mod that we got. So is that Tinker? You've not unlocked the ability to Tinker. Upgrade your science skill to Tinker. Repair, breakdown. So is Tinker what we use to install mods? No, okay, E install mod. Modifications, improve your weapons and armor by adding mods to them. Armoring. Okay, where's that? There it is. Okay, install mod. What is, okay, what does this stuff mean here? <laughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. That's armoring. That's gadget. That's skill kit. And that's utility. All right, cool. So let's install this. Modify rebuilt mining gear with thug kit. Mods can't be recovered after installation. Yeah, I guess so. We're kind of trying to figure all this stuff out, so... All right, so I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, those little four dots indicate which slots you've installed the types of mods into. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, oh, we picked up something to break down, too. Let's break this down, because I don't think that's something I want to use. That gave us two weapon parts. We're going to keep those as backup weapons for now. I don't know how big of a pain in the ass inventory management is going to be. Can we also break down... Uh, no, we can't break down the junk. Okay, probably just sell that. All right, let's keep moving around here. We need to go in there and talk to the ship computer in a second, but I just want to kind of look around a little bit. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm just trying to figure it out. Marauder, please be informed the ship has no crew for you to murder. 
I'm not gonna murder anybody. Well, not unless they piss me off. We'll probably better go Smile talk for my surveillance device, to her. I am tracking your every move. Because I think once. Oh. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. Nothing in that fridge. We gotta find something to drink. Looks like there's a lot of food up here. I don't think we're like in really bad shape yet, but uh, we're starting to get to that point. All right, well, let's go talk to the ship computer lady. Where'd she go? She's over here. Does that do anything? Looks like a telephone. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Back away from the navigation console, intruder. All right, let's talk to this lady. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please wow. return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. All right. Um, what are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Um, let's be a smartass. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Gesture procedures initiated. <laughs> Look at her eyes. all board parties in five, four, three, two, um. one. Is something supposed to ha be happening? You do realize we're on the ground, right? Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Yeah, you look a little disappointed. Um, is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. <laughs> I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Yeah, that's <laughs> Let's use that one. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. Oh, I was just trying to be an asshole. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, look... <laughs> <laughs> Look at her eyes. That's so funny. Uh, I get it. You need me to Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. Hawthorne is dead. Um, no, I think we get it. Let's go with number one. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Damn straight. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged. And must be replaced. Um. Uh. Yeah. Where Where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? I understand. Uh, yeah, Ada, I got it. Thanks. Captain Hawthorne of the unreliable. I like it. Knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. No, I mean, we need to play along with this. Um, I mean, we're, we're kind of a jerk, but we're not stupid either. Um, here we go. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay, I will. Level up. All right, anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points and spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points to the specific skills. Gotcha, okay. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise or lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Okay. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay. 
Level up. You've been promoted. Congratulations. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open up your character ledger to advance your character. Level up increases your health points. Give your gives you points to upgrade your skills as well as gives you access to a new perk, a perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Okay. All right. So, um... Oh, nice. We got a map there. Uh, okay, so let's see. We probably better... Our thirst is, is reducing our handguns, which is not good. We got to find something to drink here soon. Um, I think we probably better be thinking about putting some points into weapons ranged and melee too. So we've got this... Um, Okay, so we actually have a, a, some bonus points because of the, the the thug kit and the helmet that we're wearing. We don't have any bonuses at all to our guns. So let's put um, let's put two points into ranged. Right? Wait, how many we got? Oh, we got a bunch of points. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, all right, yeah. So let's put some points into range. We probably. Dodge, defense, dialogue, persuade, stealth, tech, medical, leadership, inspiration, determination. We probably better put some more points in a melee, I'm thinking. And defense, yeah, that's probably a good idea. And then we'll keep, we're going to keep pumping dialogue and stealth as well. I don't know that we're going to do a lot of tech stuff in with this character. Yeah, all right. Skills perks. No, 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 no. Okay, so what? Guess that just means we're working on the skills right now, right? Because we don't get a perk until uh, every other level. All right, yeah, apply. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debil debilitated. Uh, what? Okay, combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. All right. So... Selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. On the screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Accepting a flaw? Why would I do that? Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. And he wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Right. Oh, okay. So these are our tier one perks. Very nice. Okay, so what does this do? Toughness. You've grown healthier in your time outside of stasis. So we get 50% base health, all right? 25% <clears throat> tactical time time dilation. Damage when alone in party. Sometimes you're the only person you can trust, and that's okay. You deal increased damage when adventuring alone. Oh, lone wolf, okay. Strider, years of adrenatine use have left a permanent pep in your step. So we go faster. 20% sprint speed, weapon and armor durability loss, 25% better. <clears throat> Precision, companion crit chance, vendor prices, XP from companion kills, unlock the ability of fast travel when encumbered. We're not probably going to do a lot of fast traveling. Uh, tactical time dilation, rate, recharge rate, carrying capacity, additional ammo stock on vendors, additional consumable and general stock on vendors, and base armor rating. Hmm, okay. There's a lot of good stuff here. I, I'll tell you what, though. Um, let's just let's play it safe for the first couple of times, and let's go with um, more health, because I think we're going to need more health on these hard settings. Okay. Apply, accept. Nice. All right. Are we done? Those are our stats, reputation, ground breaker, Gr ground breaker. Blah, blah, blah. Um, is this, this must be like a morality thing, right? Yeah, reputation, okay. Current stats neutral. 
A former colony ship turned space station. Groundbreakers, the only township in the system operating outside the board's control. The Groundbreakers crew are led by... Oh, these are factions. Oh, okay. The, I the Iconoclasts are a group of survivalists living in the ruins of Amber Heights on Monarch, led by Graham Bryant, a staunch philosophist. Uh, they hope to one day tear down the corporate establishment that they believe has brought the colony to the brink of death. Monarch Stellar Industries. Once a loyal board owned corporation, Monarch Stellar Industries split off to become their own private entity under the leadership of Sanjar Nandi. Espousing worker centric rights and democratic ideals, Sanjar seeks to bring his own brand of freedom to the rest of Halcyon. Huh, okay. Sublight Salvage and Shipping. Sublight is a network of salvagers with business ties to transportation, all in quotes, and waste disposal. A tangled web of contractors and secretive vice presidents make up their official hierarchy. So this is more like maybe the mob or something, leaving no one to speak on the record about Sublight's more legally dubious activities. And then the board. The Halcyon Holdings Board of Directors is a group of CEOs from each of Halcyon's founding companies under the leadership of Chairman Rockwell, the CEO of Universal Defense Logistics. The board institutes policy and law throughout the Halcyon colony. All right, cool. It looks like there's going to be smaller subgroups too that we can get rep with as well. All right, nice. I'm liking this. We got something in the journal. So, stranger in a strange land, Phineas needs your help to set things right in Halcyon, but you'll need transportation first. Okay, so this is like our main quest then. So, we got to find the power regulator. We already found Hawthorne's ship. The unreliable's power reg regulator has been damaged beyond repair and must be replaced. Ada suggests you seek help in the nearby settlement of Edgewater. Talk to whoever runs the town. Gotcha. Botched and completed. Codex. Oh, okay. This is, um... Uh, this is like, yeah, just, well, codex stuff. Gotcha. Uh, items in your inventory that you don't want can be flagged as junk. You can quickly break down all of your junk items at a workbench or sell in bulk to a vendor. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm not going to sit here and read through all of this right now. Um, we'll probably, you know, check it as we, if we have questions about the stuff, but it's good to know that it's there. All right, let's get moving here. Let's get moving here. In fact, it looks like we're out of time for this episode anyway. Um, I'll keep you with me just a little bit longer. Let's head on out. Did we... You know, let's... I want to look at one if thing. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, Oop. the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal. I want to Captain. see if there's anything up here for me to drink because I'm, like, really thirsty. The ship's engines cannot be powered oh. until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Where was the kitchen at? Didn't we find a kitchen? I think it was up here, right? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. All right, I need something to drink, man. Don't we have any water on our ship? None of that stuff seems to be lootable. What about this? Can I drink from the fa the faucet? Oh, man. All right. Pick up algae lager? Algae lager? That's interesting. Where does that go? All right, well, I guess we're going to have to go into town to find something to drink because um, we don't have anything to drink in here as far as I can tell. I'm curious as to where this goes here, though. Oh, just back down here. Okay. All right, let's go. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we got to dock your pay. Um, attack. Do you take down payments in wanton violence? Lie, you've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Well, hmm, I mean, I don't want to kill her. On the other hand, if we did... <laughs> we could maybe loot her stuff. Now, nah, let's let's not... We're not really a murderer, per se. I mean, we'll kill somebody if we have to, but we're, we're more of a, you know, just kind of like a, a swindler kind of guy. So let's lie. Because lying is okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. 
If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Um, yeah, okay. Inspect away. Okay. So, we need to head this way, towards Edgewater. What if there's, like, stuff in the world that we can loot? I do a little bit of exploration, but... What's that noise? We really need... Do need to get something to drink here. Oh, there's another Marauder there. Okay, so we got our... Wait a minute. Here, let me let me get my um my stuff sorted here. Inventory. Pistol is in one or two. Sword is in one. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is a shoddy. It's fully repaired, so it should do a pretty decent amount of damage. But let's range him first. I think we're like. Too far away for the pistol. Well, okay, let's get back around here. Just have to get used to the combat here because it's not uh, I'm not used to it <laughs> the movements and all that we got a necklace plus more ammo and stuff don't you guys have anything to drink I'm thirsty sounds like there's something over there Ah, oh, man, those were innocent people that the Marauders killed. Those bastards. Well, they got what was coming to them. Wow, look at that planet up there. That's cool. All right, guys. Well, I think it's time for us to wrap up the episode. So we will start the next episode by entering Edgewater and going from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help the channel. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.